good evening a very warm welcome on this monday night to each and every one of you i trust that you had a good day i'm happy to see you all on the call and every monday night i'm just amazed um, to see how quick the time passes by because um, it feels like yesterday was monday and today is monday again but i trust you <coughs> pardon I still have a little frog in my throat, but I trust that you had a very good week and a good weekend and that you are ready and all fired up to pray like never before, because we need the hand of the, the Lord like never before. Thank you for each and every one of you tuned in and those who are still coming in. We are very, very happy and very blessed to have you. If you in a, whether you are in Cape Town or in Dubai or where in which part of the world you are, we are here gathered around um, our prayer table, and where two or three gather in His name, God is in our midst, no matter where you are. So just there, where you sit, um, in your war room. As I always say, watching over your device, I don't just want you to watch. I don't just want you to be a spectator, but I want, to, want you to be a partaker in prayer um, because we need it, as I said, like never before. Now, uh, feedback, uh, <clears throat> apology for the voice. Feedback is that Runyal and Ian say thank you so much. Um, they have fully, fully recovered from COVID and they passed their green test. So yay for them. We are happy. And feedback, uh, two weeks ago, we prayed for Zian. He was, um, uh, was very ill with upper respiratory uh, tract infection. All is well, he's healed. Please keep Anneli and her husband still in prayer. Um, wonderful testimony um robert says sinus is gone it's it, it it pays to pray so praise god for that um, i was a little bit down with flu last week but here i am and i can just say thank you god and thank you jesus he is our healer only and her husband they still need prayers um only husband Corey, he is suffering from eye blood pressure and, um, you know, Anneli's condition, ever since we prayed last week, um, she's just weak and she needs to gain her strength again. And um, then we still keep on praying for Lucille, who was diagnosed with stage four cancer. We trust God. We are thankful for the doctors. We are thankful for the treatments. But our God is healer. And then also for Carmen. Uh, she's coming with us quite a number of weeks now already. I think she just finished or uh, then maybe almost finished with her radiation uh, therapy. <clears throat> Pardon. But um, we will keep on trusting God also for common healing um, and for full recovery and a miracle testimony in Jesus' name. Ronelle, I know um, Ronelle is in Dubai. She is now... Uh, via taxi on her way from the city where she lives to Carmen and I, I think she said it's a two hour drive so maybe she will tune in from uh, from our taxi but and then there was a, um, a request I'm not sure how you pronounce the name it must be like Yael Courtney's son he's struggling quite a while now already for with um, shoulder complications went to specialist today I didn't hear the outcome but we trust God for for the son's healing there's no two stories about that and also um, one of our prayer warriors on the call Karin suffering from a little bit of a headache so all that we are going to put in the basket tonight and we're going to send it up uh, before I ask Pastor Etienne to um, follow up um, in prayer I just got a short short um, part that I want to share with you very familiar in James James, James 5 um, verse 16 which says the effectual fervent prayer 
And you know what is fervent is you set a big effort in. Um, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man make man avails much. Now, uh, the message translation says, the prayer of a person living right with God, that is a righteous man. I'm not righteous because I've got money in the bank. I'm not righteous because I'm so smart. I am not righteous because I'm the mayor of, of Cape Town. I am righteous because I am washed in the blood of the lamb. That is what qualifies us as a righteous person. Now, the message translation says, the prayer of a person living right with God is something powerful to be reckoned with. Sometimes um, we just, um, in Afrikaans, they say, ons kyk het so vlak. Um, sometimes we don't think very much of prayer. Now, even if you, if you pray hard, if you pray loud, if you pray just out of your heart, in your mind, God hears prayer. And wow, the powerful prayer must never be underestimated. I always say, show me your attitude and I will tell you about your prayer life. If there is little power in your life, most probably there's little prayer in your life. If you availeth much power, then I know you are a woman or a man of God, that um, a prayerful person that spends time seeking the face of God in prayer. And I must tell you that um, to stand in the gap, to, to stand in, to pray, actually it's hard work because you have to make a decision to be committed. But I can promise you today that God answers prayers. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but never underestimate the power of prayer. There was an old song, I wish I could sing it to you, but um, those of you who comes along with Pentecostal Church for a long time would know there's a song that says, don't give up, you're on the brink of a miracle. Don't give up because God is still on the throne. And I want, to, I want to encourage you tonight, no matter what, don't give up. Our prayers can make a difference. Um, there are souls outside that are dying without Jesus. Souls that need to come to the Lord before the trumpet sound. We're going to pray for revival tonight. Let the fire of God burn in our hearts. Um, we're going to pray for backsliders, people that once were on fire for God and just um, are not there anymore. We are going to pray for finances. We trust God for a miracle, miracle outcome in our finances. And we are going to pray for our businesses, really our businesses really need the hand of God. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are coming against depression <clears throat> and anxiety tonight. <coughs> Apologies. Pastor Etienne, will you just lead? <clears throat> Please. I want to... First of all, just share a scripture with you, just, you know, to come in agreement with Paul, what Pastor Emilia is saying tonight, and it comes out of the book of James 5, uh, verse uh, 16, the second part of it. It says, the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. And so with that being said tonight, um, I want to ask you or, or, or invite you to come in agreement with us tonight as we, we pray for the sick. Um, as you've heard what, uh, and we've read on the on the group, there's a, a lot of people that's in need of a miracle tonight. And if you have pain in your body tonight, I want to ask you just to place your hand as a point of contact. Uh, if it's a headache, put your hand on your head. If it's your if it's your shoulder, just put your hand on your shoulder. And as we come in agreement on this group, 
and you, we release our faith with you. Start activating your faith and start doing what you couldn't do before and see how God steps into your situation. And so, Father, we thank you tonight for the wonderful testimonies of your goodness and your mercy. Lord, for we know it's not by might, it's not by power, it's by your spirit alone. And, lo, and though, Lord, that healing doesn't come from a man, it comes straight from you. And so, Lord, we come in agreement tonight on this call for every single need that's been mentioned and those that has not been mentioned, Lord. And so, Lord, I pray tonight, Lord, for every single need tonight, Lord, be it healing tonight, Lord, be it a financial breakthrough tonight, Lord. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you would send the wind of your Holy Spirit, that you will send the healing presence, Lord, and you will touch your people on this call tonight, Lord. Lord, we pray for that soldier injury tonight, Lord. We command and we rebuke every bit of pain, every bit of discomfort in that shoulder. Lord, as that person starts moving that shoulder, Lord, that the pain will leave that body in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we rebuke infirmities tonight, Lord. Lord, we pray tonight for stage ca ca cancer, stage four, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, Holy Spirit, burn every single trace of cancer out of that body in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for Anneli tonight and her husband, Corey, tonight, Lord. Lord, that you would step into that situation. Lord, just as you walked on the water and you stepped into the boat and your disciples were, they were, con they, they were, they were, they were afraid of the storm and they woke you up. And Lord, you, you spoke a word and you calmed the, 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 the ocean, you calmed the storm. So much more, Lord, can you speak into our lives and calm the storm, calm the situations that we're going through that we don't know how to handle or we don't know what to say. But Lord, when you speak a word, it changes everything. Lord, when we're in your presence, sickness has to bow. When we're in your presence, Lord, financial difficulties has to go. When you're in your presence, Lord, bondage has to leave because your presence is higher than anything else, Lord. And so we thank you for that tonight, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your goodness tonight. We thank you for your mercies tonight, Lord. We thank you for every miracle that's taking place right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I also want to take this opportunity tonight, Lord, and I want to pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll send the fresh breath of the Spirit upon your people tonight, Lord. Lord, that you will ignite, and Lord, you will rekindle the fire in the, in, in, in the inside of them, Lord. Lord, it's not us that keeps the fire burning. It's your Holy Spirit that keeps the fire alive in us. And so we pray, Holy Spirit, send the wind from the north, the east, the south, and the west. Holy Spirit, breathe upon us tonight, Lord, that that fire ignite like never before, Lord. We pray for love. Lo lost loved ones tonight, children of families that's not serving God, backsliders tonight, Lord, Lord, that you would visit their lives in a way never thought possible, visit them in their dreams, visit them in, in their sleep tonight, Lord, Lord, that they'll have an encounter with you, because it's an encounter with God that changes everything, it's not a make me feel good message that brings people back to the cross, but it's a reality of encountering him that that's done the work in our life, who is Jesus himself, Lord. And so I pray, Lord, visit us again, I pray, Lord. Lord, wake our churches up, Lord, all across South Africa, all across the world. Wake the churches up, Lord, that they will take their rightful place. Lord, you are coming for a bride that's ready to see you. Jesus, you are coming for a bride that is spot, without spot or wrinkle. And so, Lord, I pray, send revival because your churches need it, Lord, more than ever before. What is happening in our world, Lord, it's creating confusion. It's making people afraid. But, Lord, we know the perfect love of God cast away all fear. And so we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the miracles tonight. We thank you for the breakthroughs tonight, Lord. We honor you for it, and we vow to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory for it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we bless you. 
and we thank you for a finished work. We thank you that you bring us to a complete and expectant ending. We thank you that you are on the throne even this night. We thank you for the table that you have prepared for us, even as all of us are on this call and we're representing so many different families and fellowships and parts of the body of Christ. But we thank you. We are forever and eternally grateful to our great and awesome Father in heaven everything that you've done and what you continually do. Father, even right now on this call, we acknowledge your presence and thank you that you are King of Kings and that you are Lord of Lords in the very atmosphere right now, over this call and in this call, in every home represented here and every person that's connected to this call, that I declare that you are Lord and that you are King and everything and set up of the enemy to come and harm and cause disruption and confusion must go, must bow its knee to the King of glory. Father, even as Pastor Etienne has prayed for, for, for um, a fresh touch, Father, I, and, and that visitation, we need you now more than ever. We need you. We cannot move on without you. We cannot live another second, another day without you. We need your presence. We need the manifest presence of the king of glory in our homes, in our vehicles, in our working environments, wherever we are, in every part of our homes, in our dwellings, on our properties. I thank you, my king and my God, for the blood of the lamb that hasn't lost its power, that we can lift up the banner, the blood banner over our homes, over our minds, even as the enemy. I, I, I want to cut off every spirit of confusion that was prayed, every spirit that wants to come and harbor and bring discouragement. I want to say that you have never, the king of glory has never failed and has no intention of failing, but you will do it over and over and over and over again. I think that we are part of that company, the Joel 2 army, and tonight we, we lift up each other on this call this night. We thank you, Father, that you are our way maker. That you are, I thank you for every effectual open doors for businesses, for business owners. I thank you up things. I thank you, Father, even as there are ideas coming and, and business and entrepreneurship coming and business ideas and, and how to provide and how to make a way. I Father, I ask that your blood covering be upon the upon us every business idea that the enemy would not come and steal and rob but i thank you for success and prosperity for the advancement of your kingdom that your name would be honored and glorified in those businesses in the jesus i thank you father even right now over every business i declare your lordship and your kingship that the king of glory reigns and that the king we've we've learned and we were taught make the lord your god your chief business partner make him your business partner and so father we thank you that you are in the midst of those businesses and because of that every business is a success we thank you for the blood of jesus over us we thank you for those that are gathered on this that will never go out stir up in us a hunger and a thirst after you as your word says as the deer panteth for the water so my soul longs after you my god and can create in us such a hunger and a thirst for you even in this time when you make the lord your god your dwelling place then all these other things will come into place then you will rebuke the devourer for your sex no evil shall befall you and no harm shall come in places. My King and my God, we bless you for your word. We honor you for your grace and for your mercy this very night. And I thank you for my brothers and sisters that's on this call and that the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and adds no sorrow is their portion every second of every single day. And that they would overcome and break through every barrier and every obstacle because they do have the victory and they are overcomers and i bless you and honor them honor you for them in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen brenda are you available to pray
Um, yes, I am half asleep. Can I just pray or say something specific? Yes, please, Brenda. Um, Brother Shoka did pray for the businesses, but I had it on my heart also to ask you to pray for our businesses and people that are really struggling financially. And as the Lord leads you, thank you, sis. Um, Father God, we just want to thank you and glorify your name. Lord, I want to quote the song that says, all that is within me will bless your holy name, Father God. And tonight, Lord, um, all we can do, Lord, is to come to you, Father God. And, and we pray, and like short prayer already, for businesses, Father God. Lord, thank you for changing the direction, Father God. Thank you for um, Christian businesses that's going to be lift up like never before, Father God. They're going to rise above their expectations, Father God. Lord, I pray for financial breakthroughs to come forth like never before, Father. I pray that people will honor you through their businesses, Father God. And I pray now, Lord, that you will from um, especially those who are really, really struggling, Father God, in this economic situation, Father God, where everybody's finding themselves in, Father. We know this is short-lived, Father God, but we serve a God that's that um, can bless abundantly, Lord. I, I pray Deuteronomy 28 from one uh, verse 1 to 14 over every businesses, Father God. Thank you that they will prosper, Father. Thank you that you will um, lift those people up who are really struggling, Lord. Lord, as it is, Father God, companies not only in South Africa, Father God, but abroad are also struggling, Father, and are, everyone's praying for things to normalize, Father. We bind the effects of COVID over the entire world, Father God. We pray for change of direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I also now pray, Father, for our oil price, Lord, that's got a ripple effect and a devastating effect on the economies worldwide, Father God. Our electricity cost is going up high. Food prices are going up, Father. And now tonight I pray, Father God, for things to normalize in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. I pray all price you will come into alignment with the word of the Lord because the earth, everything that is in the on earth belongs to the Lord. The oil, the riches of the the earth it belongs to the Lord and I pray now tonight Father God that it will come into alignment in the mighty name of Jesus Father God Lord we thank you for what we you're gonna do Father God we thank you that you will bless various countries Father all countries Father God and those who use um the pandemic or future viruses, Lord, to their own benefit, Father. We bind it now in the mighty name of Jesus because we know, Father God, you are not a God that you should lie, nor, nor the, ne neither are you a God that people should play and take things for granted, Father God. We call upon your word because we know, Father, things will come in an alignment with your word, Father. And I honor you for what what you're going to do, Father God. We're going to have major testimonies of what you're going to do, major testimonies of your blessings that's going to come, not tenfold, but hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your supernatural power that's going to flow over each and every one, Father. And I also pray, Father, for those who are struggling financially on this group, Father God. I just speak your enormous blessing over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Those who, who really think they can't carry on any further, Father God, who need a touch, your touch, Father God, Lord, for a supernatural breakthrough, Lord, in their finances, Lord. I pray now release your supernatural anointing over their businesses, Lord, small businesses, big business, Lord. We know that you are going to do it, Father. And I honor you, Father God, because you are the blesser of all things. Thank you, God. Amen.
Amen. Father, we thank you that we can stand in agreement tonight and that we can just give you all the glory and all the praise, Lord. You are great and you do miracles. And Lord, tonight I want to quote your word that says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God will lift up a standard against him and put him to flight, Lord, as... Um, my brothers and sisters were praying. I was uh, just had this uh, attack on my chest and uh, start coughing. But Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. And by his stripes, we are healed. Lord, we declare victory belongs to us. The battle belongs to God, but victory belongs to us. And thank you that we can stand in agreement, Lord. And I want to pray for each and every one here on the call. Um, thank you for their faithfulness, Lord, to redeem the time on a Monday night. I pray blessings over each and every one as their names are here in front of me. I speak a blessing over you and I declare that you are what the word says you are and you can do what the word says you can do and you will achieve what God's word says you will achieve and that you are not under the curse, but you are blessed with all the sp spiritual blessings through Christ Jesus. Um, you are blessed with all the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14. You are blessed in your job. You are blessed at your home. You are blessed when you go in. You are blessed when you go out. Your basket is blessed. Everything your hands touched are blessed. You, um, even as I said, if the enemy comes to you on one way, God will cause him to flee uh, uh, in front of us uh, in seven ways because part of our inheritance is this, that no weapon, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Yes, the weapons will be formed, yes, but it will not prosper because our inheritance is that, that no weapon that is formed against us will be successful. Lord, I thank you that you raise up a standard against the enemy tonight, that you protect each and every one on the call, under your precious blood. Lord, um, where, where the, the blood is, the enemy cannot come in. And in the name of Jesus, there is victory and demons will have to flee. Lord, I thank you that tonight for each and every one on this call, you make us the head and not the tail. And we are going up, we're not going down. We are moving forward. We are not going backwards because we are the apple of our father's eye. I really hope that you declare it over yourself every day, uh, 10 times a day. You are the apple of our father's eye. I thank you, Lord, that we can declare tonight that people will come from the north and the east and the south and the west to experience the greatness of God. Sinners will come to repentance. The lukewarm will be set alight and the captives will be set free. The sick will be healed because by your stripes, we are healed. I thank you, Lord. I want to repeat it tonight. By your stripes, we are healed. Is it anxiety? Is it depression? Is it merely a cold? Is it cancer? Is it a, a painful shoulder? By your stripes, Lord Jesus, we are healed. You have sent your word to heal us from all our diseases. And I declare it over each and every one of us tonight. We are are anointed with the well favor of God. I speak it over us. I say jobs come and better jobs. Income come and in, in, income increase. Houses come and better houses. Cars come and better cars. Businesses come and bigger businesses. Our needs are met. Tonight I declare it. We are out of debt. And there is plenty more to put in store. And we will never, ever have another broke day in our lives again in Jesus' name. And if you believe this, say amen or type in amen. Trust God. Trust God. 
Keep your eyes on Jesus. He is still the miracle worker. He is still the promise keeper. He is still the light in the darkness. That is who we are. He is. I give God all the glory. May you experience the greatness of God. May this be a, a breakthrough week for each and every one of you according to your needs. And may each of every and every one of us come back next Monday with an awesome testimony to tell and say, look what the Lord has done. Stay faithful. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Focus on his word. Stay in prayer. It makes the tremendous power available. And it is a prayer is a powerful force to be reckoned with. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, stay under the blood, stay healthy, stay safe. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next Monday, same time, same place. Shalom.